All right, Michael, what are we doing tonight? Well, as much as we'd love to be working on the GT and getting that lovely engine in there, we're not quite there yet. We still need a few more parts. But the good news is, much to Nathan's delight, is we actually have a shed full of Fords at the minute. <laughs> because we have a BF Series 2. Thank you, Mark II. Hey, oh, it is a Mark II, it is. More specifically, my BF Falcon Mark II use. It's his daily this, car. This is my daily car. <laughs> You've probably seen of all my other cars and you've seen my SS, which used to be my daily car. But this is my daily drive and to be quite honest, my favorite car out of all of them. So what he's saying is it's better than the SS. <laughs> she's just trusty, she's reliable. The SS is great, I've never had a problem with the SS. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is deep down in my heart, I just love a good old workhorse. I know Nathan likes the shiny and the pretty cars and that. I just like a workhorse. All this needs to do is get me from A to B and carry all the crap that I need to take to the tip and engine parts and stuff like that. And it's perfect for this. So what are we doing to it? As great as it is, there's one problem with the BF Falcons and the BAs to the BS. And all you four guys out there that have a BA or a BF would know. They just couldn't get it right, couldn't they? They just, they just <laughs> missed the mark just that little bit when it comes to the multimedia system in it, the radio. This obviously has just the standard radio in it. It doesn't have like the the Bluetooth or anything in it. And look, I've become accustomed to that when I, have, when I was driving my SSV daily, and I kind of like that. And basically I wanted to do something about it, but because Ford decided to make their radio so integrated with the aircon system and everything else in the center console, that is actually a lot harder to do than you'd think. You can't just easily slap in a double DIN head unit in these things. You can put a single DIN in reasonably easy enough, but not a double DIN. But there is a solution because we stumbled across it on Facebook one night. <laughs> yeah. Actually, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to get, I'm going to get over here. So this is the head unit that I've been wanting to put in this thing for a long time. It has all the CarPlay and all that crap in it that it does. And still got a volume knob. Volume knob is important to me. I hate... The button is I the hate... worst thing. The Fairlane has a button and it is the worst. And you try and hate it. it. <laughs> and you want to go up? It's just drives you insane. So this has a volume knob and I want that. So that's why I chose this head unit and it's relatively cheap. I bought this with the intention of basically making it work and installing it as best I could because of what I was going to do is I bought another center fascia for a Falcon, which I was going to cut up and make a hole and fiberglass it and move electronics around because I figured out you can pull all this apart. Fairly confident that I could going by the electronics, but you know, I've been wrong before. And that was our plan. And we always said, oh, we'll get to it on weekend. We'll get to it on weekend. And uh, we just never quite got there. But then the other day, Nathan said, hey, I've got something to show you on Facebook. And what he showed me was this. This was released only like two weeks ago before I bought it. I saw it on Facebook and I'm like, I'm buying it. Because this, after 14 years of there being really no cost-effective solution to installing a double din head unit into a BA to BF, finally answers that problem. This isn't like a sponsored deal or anything like that. I'm just so excited that I finally have a solution. I don't have to try fiberglass anymore. And I'm pretty excited about this because to be honest, this is like grassroots. When you first started playing with guys, what was the first thing you did? Oh mate, you chopped that bloody plug off and you wire in a head unit. Yeah, you wire in a head <laughs> unit. Or you, you know, put a pod filter on, whichever you started with oh. first. But, you know, radios is what you started with. It's what you start in your electronic endeavors and journey mm -hmm. on cars. It's what... And your dodgy sub wiring ran all the way to the back. Yeah. That's your standard. And it got me all the way to, you know, wiring in a Haltech at some stage. But it all started with wiring in head units. We're not going to have to do any wiring today because I bought a patch harness, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying this is back to basics. But so. when you do your grassroots, you learn to just buy the patch yeah. harness. It's just so much easier <laughs> to spend like nine bucks and get the patch harness. All right. Should we unbox it? I reckon we're going to have a look. Yeah. It looks alright, doesn't it? It does, it looks really good. I haven't seen this yet. That's nice. Man. It looks alright, doesn't it? It does. Is that a little fan? That yeah. is legit a fan. Look. What? You know why? You know when you go bowling and you gotta you gotta dry your fingers, you go to the fan and before you bowl. That's before you hit the buttons. <laughs> you just hover it over there, fan your fingers down before you hit your button. <laughs> Is that in case you're getting a bit sweaty while you're driving? <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you don't want to slip on the buttons? Oh, that's funny. That's a fan. That is straight up a fan. No, this looks good. Two USB ports down the bottom. Nice. Got plastic covers in case you sink it. Water's not going to get in there. Looks good. Oh, wow. I mean, that, that's straight up a... 
That's that's straight up Bear Falcon, mate. Can't get any clearer than that. All right, where's it? Oh wow! Oh, we could get. We should. You know what? Let's do this by the book, right? Let's just get what we need and see if that's what you need to do it. You reckon? All right. Yep. Let's just dip, let's throw everything out. That's all you need. All right, let's do that. All right, let's do it. You gonna get oh, those? What tools? we need? What do we need? Are we actually gonna do something by the book for one? Oh, I'm sure halfway through we'll ditch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick into the position. Lift the front panel, then pull the panel up to completely remove. What? What do you know? Instructions actually are worth. I reckon you should like like clean all the yeah. human grub out of all the edges. But so far, the instructions and the tool choices are working. <laughs> oh, they pop out just like that. Do they? Yeah, it's just like that. It's so easy. Apparently, these are really prone to snapping. Oh, okay. Really? Yep. Don't snap it like that. Are you serious? All right. Does anyone have one of these? Because I'm in need of one. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't come out. See? I'm desperately in need of one now. <laughs> I like how you said to me before, it's very prone to snapping. I remember reading that in the instructions in the video, so they snap a lot. <coughs> and apparently they do. <laughs> it's still one more piece. <laughs> Anyone with a Ford, <laughs> make sure you buy another one. <laughs> Hit us up. Here's your, here's your dash face shot. Thanks so much. <laughs> I would have liked to see you pull it out. I'll put this up here then. Hey eh? everyone, they're prone to snapping. Just so everyone prone knows. Prone to snapping. <laughs> uh, we're about to take out the whole thing. Oh wow. You know, I'm going to put my hands exactly where he puts his. I wish you had done that with the top panel. Oh, oh. Don't break it. Okay. So what's it say to do? We're gonna pull these four plugs. Unplug four connectors and the antenna connector. Yep. Ah, so there is another one. Got it. You got it? Yep. Remove the factory unit and place on bench. Wow, simple as one, two, three. Yeah. Legit, that's the third step. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's take our tools. Strip and fit. Strip, strip and fit, is that what it's called? Uh, I don't know, I'm making up my rules now. <laughs> We've ditched <laughs> instructions. <laughs> All right, so, let's pull this out. So far, we're still on the tools. We haven't used any others apart from the extension bar, but I'll- We'll allow that. I'll allow that. Because that's a socket set, you know? Yeah, socket. As long as we don't have to get another socket. The only thing is when I read instructions, all I do is look at the pictures and I yeah, look at I'm the Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah. I'm the same. Ain't nobody got time for reading that. Ain't nobody got time for that. You can hear Mikey's tail going. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the factory unit from the plastic. Uh, next page, maybe. So we need to take out the transceiver module. I gotta admit, when I was first doing stereos, I never had to worry about any of this <laughs> back when I was doing it in my Mazda 626. No, all you had to worry about was purple uh, with yellow and red stripes was left speaker. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Alright, now we start to put stuff onto this.
Oh, damn! Is this a Tesla? <laughs> That looks good, man. I'm, I'm happy with that. Alright, now we have patch lead that goes in. Click. Look how much wiring there is that goes behind this. How much easier is this than like you said before when you used to solder everything? Yep, you need to get your good old diagram off Google. <gasps> park break, park break. Alright, we are... Uh, all wired up, the mess of wiring is now plugged in. It really isn't that hard. We didn't film it just because we were reading the instructions the whole time, being Good professional. Difference. Professional. But there's really not that much to it. Ready to go? Yeah, let's put it in. All right, we've, we've ditched the instructions from now on out. Now we're just winging it. All right, so let's see if it works. Let's see what she does. If I go to... Um... Hello? Hello! <laughs> it's me. Hang on. Huh. Huh. <laughs> There's no power! Um, yes. Turn the car on, on. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. The car used to run. <laughs> Do you remember when head units were so easy? <laughs> wait, have I put the plug in? Oh, wait, have you? Alright, let's take it all apart again. Now repeat steps six and seven nine times again. <laughs> Michelle? Yes. Remember the one job you did like five times? Yeah. They're not plugged in. Ah. Yeesh. That could be the problem. Yeesh. I'll get I that. Even, I, why, why am I even going for it? I don't even know where the plugs are. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take 234. <laughs> we have the uh, everything plugged in now. <gasps> There's a light. There's a light. <gasps> Oh god, I hate that screen. Hey! <laughs> yes, we have static. Ooh, lights. Lights, lights. turn on, yeah. okay. Okay, let's try... What else we got? What else can we hit? Ah! Oh, menu on the dash! That's cool. AC on. <gasps> Ooh, nice! So that was AC on, AC off. That's cool. So that all works. Auto okay. won't work because this didn't ever had auto. Does it work, Michael? Yeah, it works. Yes. And the steering wheel controls still work. Anyway, Apple CarPlay works. We'd scroll across, but it shows our location, so <laughs> we can't show you that bit. But everything works. I got Spotify working. How cool is that? Yeah, that's sick. Oh, a tropical house. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Are you happy with this thing? I'm really happy with this thing. It's awesome. The only thing is, there's one problem with it though. What? They're blue, they're green. So our blue lights there and green lights there. But I thought about that. <laughs> so we ordered an X Asics dash. <laughs> so it'll be blue as well. Oh, God. So we're going to swap that out now before we're done for the day. Yeah, all right, let's swap it out now. Yep. <laughs> Ugh, so. Here is our solution to the green lights. BF Auto Sedan Mark II Dash. And the best bit about it is, I have done 178,000 kilometers. This has done 175,000 kilometers. <laughs> so that was pretty close. Yeah. They do look good, don't they? Yeah, yeah I like better it better than that, than that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I broke it. Oh, so now we're even? No, because this is the old piece. <laughs> Oh, the blue, I love it. Yes, everything works. Fuel gauge works, don't have temperature 
works. Lovely. Man, it's like a brand new car in here. Let's screw it in, eh? Yeah. All right, now let's see what it looks like at night. Yeah! How cool does that look? The blue is so much better than the green. Yeah. I love it. I hope I don't have to do this every time. Oh, good, I know. That's wicked. I'm so happy with this. What do you think? Love it. I'm impressed. It looks good. I love this. Love it. Yeah. It looks so much better. That's heaps better. It's really modernized out. These things look dated with the screen that's like that big it's yeah. like the screens they used on uh, MTV Pin My Ride you know when they put the screens <laughs> under the car yeah the old dog <laughs> three pixel like TV screen. screens this, this one has eight pixels in it that's exactly what it's like well that was a bit of a different one wasn't it Michael back to basics back, back to, to basics roof, even though that was way more complicated than any of my we original repeated, ones repeated uh, the last few steps more than 20 times <laughs> but we got there in the end Lesson learnt, plug everything in. Plug everything and read the instructions. Don't just look at the pictures. Yes. But anyway, that was a good install. Made it a BABF a hell of a lot nicer on the inside. I think this is definitely an upgrade for a lot of people to look at. Yeah. Uh, it's for the Territory as well. Yeah. Uh, territory territory well. SX and SY. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that'll work in your Territory and I think that's a good, so a good head unit too. Pre-warning, that top panel will break on you. So <laughs> buy another one. <laughs> Uh, but other than that, we're going to end this one here. If you want to support the channel, please head over to the website where you can buy some stickers and some merch. And also don't forget to head over to Burson Garage website if you use the description below. And look at the DIYs. DIYs, yeah. Word of the day? What was word of the day? RIP top panel. RIP top panel. RIP top panel because it's a poor top panel. Someone bloody broke it. Just a moment, moment of silence, please. It's still good. Anyway, you can get others. You can get these, you know. <laughs> it's a it's a hassle, but oh look, it says on the back stamped in it. One time use only. <laughs> so anyway, I think we'll end that one here. See you in the next episode. See you then. Is that your turbo button? <laughs> <laughs> You're not going turbo, are you? Shift the key. Mate, this is very very in detail. Yeah, it's actually specific to the car, not just... Um, yeah, that's that's crazy, mate. That's crazy. That is wild. Air Pro. This is our makeshift lighting rig right here. Just First step, take your light. <laughs> <laughs> I had an old XH ute before this, which was the definition of a farm ute. Yeah. It was originally a paddock bomb, which then we put on the road after that. <laughs> uh, and that had no air con, had no electric windows, no cruise control, no nothing. And I got sick of driving the thing around because it was just getting uncomfortable during the summer. So then I upgraded this and this is like the Rolls Royce compared to that. <laughs> and the only thing is missing, like I said, is just being able to hook up your phone to the radio. And, and stuff the spirit like of ecstasy. And the spirit of ecstasy <laughs> popping out of the bonnet. Yeah. I'm thinking I might set up a GoPro on here. Yeah. Uh, just at the back here. At the back, yeah. And I we'll think just, that's the only way. Because we'll it'll up. just be like, all out. Film out there, all yeah. in, film in here, yeah. done. That was a really technical. <laughs> Sounds like Dory. Sounds like Dory or fish <laughs> underwater. <Yeah. laughs> hey, now that you got that piece out, mate, yeah. do you want to clean it up? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we wrap it, we can hide it all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I need a new one of them. Anyone got one? All the wreckers out there are probably like, nah, mate, they're all snaps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you got other pieces? Maybe I can glue it together. Sand it, paint it, be bent. <laughs> <laughs> that little corner piece broke into three pieces. <laughs> so uh, I can't stop laughing because remember when I was puffing the water jet out of your patrol <laughs> and it just snapped. <laughs> so you know what? Maybe you shouldn't deal with plastic. I should stay away from plastic. <laughs> You're breaking my shit. <laughs> See, if it was steel, I could weld it back together for you. <laughs> I can hear you. Just so everyone knows, he dropped a bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Damn, it didn't reach the black hole. <laughs> oh, 175,000, we just dropped 2,000k. I mean, what? <laughs> 
Car sales is watching this like, <laughs> this better not go on the market. <laughs> Take me to rap school and sign me off, we've fixed it. <laughs> it is as good as new. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Hey, it looks complete now, it looks good. <laughs> Look, it's good enough. Looks good for far and far from good. Yeah. Yep, that looks as good as you. No one will even know. <laughs> Professionals. <laughs>